Good morning, Carol here with the good news. Our gospel today is taken from Matthew chapter 20, verses 17 through 28, and I'll be reading verses 20 through 28. Then the mother of the sons of Zebedee came to Jesus with her sons, and kneeling before him, she asked a favor of him. Jesus said to her, What do you want? She said to him, Declare that these two sons of mine will sit, one at your right hand and one at your left, in your kingdom. But Jesus answered, You do not know what you are asking. Are you able to drink the cup that I am about to drink? They said to him, We are able. He said to them, You will indeed drink my cup, but to sit at my right hand and at my left, this is not mine to grant but it is for those for whom it has been prepared by my father. When the ten heard it, they were angry with the two brothers. But Jesus called them to him and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lowered it over them, and their great ones are tyrants over them. It will not be so among you, but whoever wishes to be great among you must be your servant, and whoever wishes to be first among you must be your slave, just as the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life a ransom for many. This is the Gospel of Christ. Jesus asks a question following the mother asking a question. Wonder what the mother thought about that. What would we think? if Jesus asked us the same question. The question of, um, what do you want? It might be easy for us to say, well, we want what you're offering. We're able to drink from the cup. But do we really understand what drinking from the cup truly means? At the very end of this story, Jesus makes it really clear what the cup holds and offers to us. It's an invitation that this cup is the symbol, as Jesus is, of God's love into servanthood. Jesus says, and whoever wishes to be first among you must be your slave just as the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life a ransom for many. For me, on this morning of the beginning of a retreat prior to my ordination, this passage has a very deep meaning, which is, it's invitational into a commitment of a life of service. That's what Jesus is inviting us into, as he did with those he was speaking with in, the, in this passage. To drink from the cup is a privilege, it's an honor, it's humbling, and it's to commit ourselves to servanthood. And what does that mean today for us? Loving our neighbors as ourselves and serving in the best way we can all of the days of our life. I'd like to read the words from a hymn that is often sung at ordinations. And from the first time I heard it so many years ago, it's taken on a gradual, deeper meaning that is beyond words, so I'll just go ahead and read it. The title of the hymn is Sister, Let Me Be Your Servant. Sister, let me be your servant. Let me be as Christ to you. Pray that I might have the grace to let you be my servant too. We are pilgrims on a journey, fellow travelers on the road. We are here to help each other walk the mile and bear the load. I will hold the Christ light for you in the night time of your fear. I will hold my hand out to you. 
speak the peace you long to hear. I will weep when you are weeping. When you laugh, I'll laugh with you. I will share your joy and sorrow till we've seen this journey through. When we sing to God in heaven, we shall find such harmony, born of all we've known together, of Christ's love and agony. Brother, let me be your servant. Let me be as Christ to you. Pray that I may have the grace to let you be my servant too. The cup that Jesus offers us, invites us into, is a life of servanthood to one another that may be easy and may not be easy. It's filled with love and the promise of life. Those are my reflections for today. Will you pray with me? Lord of the cosmos, that your glory rises in the morning sun and sparkles off flowing waters, that the glory of the everlasting world shines in this world, growing from the ground and issuing forth in every creature, that glory can be handled, seen, and known in the matter of earth and human relationships, and the most ordinary matters of daily life. Assure me again this day, O God. Assure me again this day. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope you go well today. Be safe. Take care. See you next time. God bless.